Earlier this month, three workers were killed at a Fernie, B.C. arena when ammonia used in the ice-making machines leaked. Details are still not available as to how the accident happened, but ammonia has been used in arenas for over 30 years, and even here at the Pembroke Memorial Centre, ammonia is used in the ice-making machines. Ron Conroy with the City of Pembroke talks to us about the operation. Okay, so ammonia is used uh, primarily in all the rinks around the area. There's not too many that I'm aware of that use Freon. Ammonia can be dangerous in its state, and uh, it's under pressure in the ice plants. Basically, it's the primary refrigerant that cools down the secondary refrigerant, which is a brine solution, which actually is underneath the floor. So basically, the ammonia is trapped in the plant and goes outside and makes a big cycle, goes from a liquid to a vapor, removes the heat, and that's why you see the steam outside on those condenser units is removing the heat from the floor. Regulations in regards to the ammonia operation have a strict set of guidelines that the city staff have to maintain, and they are checked every year. Okay, so there are a bunch of regulatory bodies, in particular TSSA, and those are the inspectors that come around annually to ensure that we're following all the necessary protocols. And um, so they're pretty stringent on what we're doing. I mean, as far as the municipality goes, uh, we keep on top of it the best we can. The Canadian Centre for Occupational Health and Safety says ammonia is a colourless gas that is very toxic if inhaled and can cause death. In addition to being used in ice rinks, ammonia is used in fertiliser to make plastics, fibres and other chemicals. The crew at the PMC check levels every two hours, ensuring that if something is going on, that it would be caught before anything could happen. We have an ammonia alarm that would, would ring at, once we hit 25 parts per million, it'll go on a low level, so it's an audible alarm in the exterior of the building, you would hear quite distinctly because it's not the same as a fire alarm. We have a lot of fail-safe measures in place uh, to protect staff and of course the patrons in the building. It is safe to say that the PMC staff are doing everything they can to keep the PMC a safe place to play. In an article from the Canadian Press, it says that it is most popular in Ontario where it is featured in roughly 80% of the ice rinks in the province. Reporting for Coach Co News in Pembroke, I'm Trevor Riley.